What's up? My name is Them Jeans. I'm here in Los Angeles, California. I'm going to show you on Ableton how I like to make my mixtapes and show you for Scratch DJ Academy Watch and Learn. Stay tuned. I'm in the middle of making a mixtape that is a chopped and screwed mixtape. You may have seen another video of me learning, learning you how to do that. Or may, you may be watching this first and you're going to watch that next. Either way, we're going to uh, use the same session. So I've got this Drake song here. It's pitched down slow. I got I'll enemies, play it for you. got a lot of enemies, got a lot of people trying to drink. That's Drake energy, but slowed. Um, and we have this song here, which is Ray Schwimmer. And, and I have that lined up here. So I'll show you exactly how I warp everything, get it, get it all lined up and in place. So we'll start with this song right here. We'll play it right here, unwarped. You probably heard it before, it's rapping, it's good. Um, so first things first, I'm gonna warp it. And what I like to do when I'm warping an entire song, find the beginning of the song, set your warp point by double clicking right here in this little gray box. You're gonna select, select that as your warp point. Right click on that yellow box, set 1.1.1 here, and that makes the beginning of the track right there. All right, so now I'm gonna click, right click again and go to warp from here straight. And what that does is warps the whole song the whole way through with one take. It doesn't have a zillion little warp points all over it, it's just that one. And it's probably gonna be a little off if it has an intro without drums. So for instance, this is like a little intro that's eight bars, but it's probably, it's, or it's four bars, but two bars in Ableton. So here's your first kick. And there's a little warp point right here. Click that, drag it over here to three so it's, it's lined up perfectly. And then we've got another kick here and that seems to be pretty close. Drag that over, line it up. Um, you might, if you wanna do the whole song, you can move over and, and find it. But for the sake of this demonstration, we're just gonna show you that. So now that we have it warped, Ableton thinks that it's because the, uh, the master tempo is at 60, it thinks it's lower. So we're gonna have to click this little button here and double it. So now it's at the correct tempo of 92.47. So now when we play it slow down, it sounds like this, choppy and screwy. Okay, so we have that lined up on the one here and then on our Drake song, that's lined up on the one there. So. On our Drake uh, audio track, we have EQ3, which uh, I only use for making mixtapes. I use EQ8 right here for production stuff. It's more control. You can, uh, it looks like this. Tons of control, but for making a mixtape, you don't really need to do that. Get rid of that tube. So we have an envelope set here, gain low. And we have our envelope here. So what we want to do is have this, the, the low end of the song kind of fade out as this new song is coming in. So I will set this here and kind of move it down. So by the time it hits the end, it'll be at zero. And then I'll do the opposite on this song. Start our gain low at the bottom and drag it up so when it finally hits, it'll be all the way up. So when I'm dragging on my envelope, I hold down the command key. So this is without the command key. It kind of flops all over the place. It's hard to manage. Hold down command and you can go super pinpoint and nail down to perfect zero. So now when I play both songs, the, uh, the low end of the first song is gonna slowly raise up and be at the, the uh, full, full volume when it drops and Drake is gonna do the opposite. And I'll show you how that sounds. Pray for you, nigga. <laughs> okay, that sounds really funny. <laughs> so, uh, another thing I like to do when you when you notice 
There's a little vocal right here on the Drake song. I'll loop that. Fuck all of you niggas, and that kind of clashes with the vocal of Ray Schremer. So what I'll do is I'll take this drums, this, this drums, and I will duplicate that. So there's going to be none of that. And if you're listening at home, you'll never know. Um, when I duplicate that, so now when you play them both together. Alright, very cool. Now, um, another thing I like to do for these kind of mixes is same thing but with reverb. So I will click on my reverb forest floor, my favorite one. Leave the dry wet alone at 16. Take the decay time all the way down. And I will set an envelope so by the time it ends up at the very end, you'll kind of get a little splash effect so it cushions the transition. If you just listen to it on its own. Yeah. Sounds cool, doesn't it? Um, obviously these songs are out of key and sort of sound like shit together, but what are you going to do? Um, <clears throat> that's just for an example. My favorite part of this song is when the verse hits, so maybe I'll lose that opening chorus and go straight into it. All right, well, there you go. So basically, you can do this for a full hour-long mixtape, but uh, make sure each channel has EQ3 set up, and I like to have a little reverb on there to make those transitions more smooth. And then just set your little uh, envelopes for your low end so you can adjust it and do a perfect mix every time. Um, I would also suggest knowing if the songs are in key or not, because that will make them sound good together. Get this program called Mixed in Key or download it illegally. Shots goes out to you, Mixed in Key. I have done both. Um, but that is a great tool to help you organize your DJ sets and your mixtapes. So if you have Ableton, you spend all the money on it, you have the ability to make a cool mixtape, you might as well try and make it sound the best you can. So go through all these steps, do a good job at it, make them in key, and whoever's listening to it will be very happy. Thank you for watching. See you later, bro.